I remember when women didn't have egos. But he love my big ego. And now they have the biggest ego. Much. I walk like this because I can back it. And so now we're to the point now where a woman can say to a man, hey, I can go get money from wherever I want to get it from. You just should shut up and be happy. You can't have it both ways. Either you need to be happy that I created a solution for a problem that we had and just chill or like, I don't know, like, like sit down. Yeah, I, I was trying not to be rude about it. Be happy I got the money and Aaron sit down. Expand on it. Like she's saying, like, she I is think, trying to I say, figured I figured out how to save right. our ass. You couldn't figure so it out. I don't I need you it. to just give me no down. shit. That's exactly what I'm saying. The crazy thing is, like, I'm working why would you put me in a situation like that? Why do you have me in a situation where I, where, where a shelter over my head is uncertain? No, 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 no. That, that is the, is no, the that, no, 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 that, that is much, the point. How much months has the rent have not been Thank paid you. to get an eviction notice? That is the point. That is the, that is, that is the point. Did she say how much months? Now, I remember when dudes used to do stuff like that, it used to be disrespectful. I got a big <laughs> ego. She love my big. It used to be you're not honoring your relationship. Like it used to be called emotionally cheating when you couldn't find them out physically cheating and he's spending time with another woman doing whatever. God forbid he was getting something from her like money. So now men are in their egos because they're not allowing their women to just roam around the country and do whatever they want to unchecked. You took your ego out of it to say, well, you know, she did what she had to do for us. It's still for you guys. How did we get here? <laughs> it seems like we got here, what? 2010s, maybe? With, 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 or maybe, or maybe even before that, man, with, with all this, um, yes, yeah, before that, with all this, um, all my ladies making money, you know what I'm saying? That that little that little independent movement, you know what I'm saying? Even even we, you know what I'm saying? The men, we we even you know help promote it. I N D E P E. You know what I'm saying? Even we didn't. You know what I'm saying? The Miss Independent. You know what I'm saying? We 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 help we help spurn it to where it's like, you know what? Do I really need? You know what I'm saying to do? Because guess what? Even even in her saying that. Let, let, let just take let just take out how disrespectful that was and what, what they're saying but even in that point she still got the money from a man she just said i got it from my sister i got it from my mom i got it from my auntie you know what i'm saying i got it from my niece my daughter whatever like that she still got something from a man you know what i'm saying so now we we, we back full circle with it is where we, we we projected that a lot man women women and men now women ran with it men probably did it to the thing, oh man, I'm gonna give me, I'm gonna give me some kudos for this. I'm gonna send me a couple of books, some merchandise, and leave it alone. And now they didn't check it, you know what I'm saying, and ran with it. And now the man who promoted that, then oh shoot, I use a gold mine. Women do like pandering, so let me keep on pandering. You know what I'm saying? Now they, they've they've taken it to new heights to where you know what I'm saying. Now it's like you know what I'm saying. Look, even even men say y'all should be doing this. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, you right. You absolutely right. We put them in a position where they feel like that's cool to act like that, really. And that's why we having this hard time of defining what a simp is. Like, because when when a man act like that, women are quick to say, oh, he's just being a man because he's being a provider. But men are like, nah, it ain't what you doing, it's how you doing it. But for the victor goes the spoils, they don't care how you getting it. They just want it. Just like attention. They don't care if it's good attention or bad attention, just as long as they're the center of attention. But we just thinking we doing all these things for them and giving them these provisions. No, what we're doing is we're creating a monster. Now, this is the monster. The monster is telling you, shut up and be happy that she got a situation she got a solution for the situation that's supposed to be your job anyway that's what they're telling us i don't i don't know where they're getting their definitions of how relationships are supposed to work social media relationship experts experts so what's funny about this whole thing is when they was in the position where men were getting the money and he, they told them to sit down <laughs> they created a whole feminist movement behind mm -hmm. it now that they're on 
equal playing ground or somewhat equal playing ground they telling men to sit down make it make sense she is I trying to I say i figured out how to save right. our ass you couldn't figure so it out i don't I need it. you to so give me no shit. let's go Look, check this out i don't need nobody to save my ass except for god <laughs> and if we, me you and god can't do it it don't need to be done why you over there trying to figure out stuff on your own unprotected because then what if you figured it out and then decide to go upside your head and he go upside or decide to stalk you or decide to stalk your family or decide to go too far with it show up at your job oh that kind of stuff don't happen though huh because men ain't crazy like that we'll stick it blame it's yeah um, I'm gonna have to go to him if you'd have had the money. <laughs> the crazy thing is, and that's the crazy, especially like, I am. Uh, like, I'm working. Why would that. you put me in a situation like that? Why do you have me in a situation where I, where where a shelter over my head is uncertain? She didn't say we. She mm. said I. Mm. So that goes to show you the mindset of the relationship. Because remember, I, it's not about me. It's about we. Yeah, yeah, it's French. We. But no, nah, <laughs> you want to sit there and say, well, why would you, why would you put me, why would I want to, like, come on. First of all, life, lives. What if you lost your position and your money? Better yet, let's say if you got into an accident and you couldn't do what you do anymore. Why would you put why would you put the pressure on him that he should stay or could he go? Because I'm sure you're not gonna be up there talking about, well, I can't do it for you. Go find some other woman that can. I mean, you might have high, you might do that, but I don't know if most women would do that. If, admit that they're deficient in something and allow you to go ahead and get that deficiency uh filled by another woman. Oh no, it sounds a little different when it's being said like that. He's a mature man. <laughs> that that is much, the point. How much months has the rent have not been Thank paid? You. How much months? Innovation <laughs> notice? That is the point. That is the that is that is the point. Yo, you think that everybody like I don't know if see, that, I fix shit. I this fix where, shit. This is I where, fix it. This is what happens when I talk about fairy tales. And this is what women think. Everything is pizzas and cream. It's not. And at some point in time, I'm not saying everything has to fall down and crumble, but in sticky situations, in tough moments, honestly, that defines your relationship as a dude. And I'm a man, right? We already get the weight of the world on our backs. The first thing that I heard was, why are you putting me in a position where shelter is, is potentially being taken away from me? You took your ego out of it to say, well, you know, she did what she had to do for us. It's still for you guys. No, the the thing and, that and all you. So is it really for us guys? <laughs> no. No. Why are they making it seem like he just came home one day with an eviction notice? I'm quite sure because I don't know what man, no man, real man that I know knows that like y'all are like hard times are coming and won't communicate that with you. He's not going to let y'all get put out and not say anything to you. Yeah, but let's assume that let's even assume that he was trying to figure it out on his own. Mm -hmm. because the pressure of being the man okay. and he couldn't figure it out on his own because he know he got a woman like these women that's gonna sit there and leave the moment they realize that he don't have a pro i mean that he don't have the money or they're gonna do something questionable in character to get the money so so he takes it upon himself to try to to do it and then he they get a notice on the door you know you got the three-day pay or quit or whatever and she decides to go ape shit over it. Does that justify her going to her ex or her baby daddy because he got kids in the house with her and getting the money? Does that justify that? No. And I say no. No. Not at all. 
that's a good way to usurp the authority of your man in the relationship. If you trying to do that, yeah, that's a good way to do it. That's a good that's a good way to backdoor your relationship. If that's what you're trying to do. If you're trying to be the leader of the relationship, if you don't want your man's covering and God's protection, then sure, go ahead, do that. This sounds like something Eve would have told Adam. <laughs> The, the thing and, that, and all you get is the fucking complaint, no, nigga. How about a thank you? I'm talking about. How about a goddamn thank you? That's what. If, if I gotta go and tuck my tail and go to a ex, how about you go thank him too? Yeah. How about that? Like, how do you hear this? First of all, all that masculine energy, keep that for yourself. Second of all, not only do you want me to be okay with it, you want me to go thank him too. <laughs> so, what kind of ways were you thanking him? I'm sure not just because your pretty little lips with the lipstick say thank you. That was good enough. So, what are we talking about here? Mm -hmm. The brown skimmer right there, she empowered the other one with the lipstick on mix. You know, so ever, ever since she ever since she did that, um, we said, oh, well, I was just trying to put it nice. Now you see how bold she done got now. She cussing, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and everything. So I put it like, that. hey, you want to be the man? Then go ahead and be the man, but you're gonna be the man by yourself. Like I know people do stuff for clicks, right? And do stuff for views, whatever like that. But just with the conviction that they're saying it, I believe that's their mindset for real. And their mindset is on is on, is on some BS. Their mindset is either gonna have them single forever, or it's gonna have them searching for a man that they can control and belittle. A, a man that has no self-esteem. Because if you think that it on God's green earth, that I should go to your ex and be like, hey man, bro, man, thank you for coming through for the for the for the for the rent or whatever for the mortgage or whatever like that. Cause I know where we're gonna stay, bro. I thank you, bro. Let's go out and have beer. Let's go, let's go, man. Let, 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 let's go to fellowship together and stuff like that. You done lost your god dog on mine. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing they see in is like, oh, we oh we we you know what I'm saying we 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 fixed it, you know what I'm saying, or, or whatever like that. Shoot, I can fix stuff too, but if I go out in the bank. You know what I'm saying? Does, does that make it right the way I fixed it? You know what I'm saying? Eventually, it's going to catch up with me. You know what I'm saying? Because eventually, if you, if you do something and you see that you got some, and you see that you got something from it, guess what? I'm going to go to that well again. You know what I'm saying? Hey, well, hey, I, I know you helped us out with the way before, but you know what I'm saying? My girl's going on this trip too, and could you just help me? You know what I'm saying? I seen the pictures. You know what I'm saying? When we get that, whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, one thing will lead to another, and they have a backwards mentality on how on how they think of stuff. In my opinion, man, if you don't stand for something, you're gonna fall for anything. And if you don't draw the line anywhere, then you're gonna go for anything. So anything is on the table when you sit there and let that dynamic play out in your relationship. You know that is that is just straight, just crazy. Like you said, that you if if. If I'm if I'm a leader, right, and we're having some kind of issue or deficiency, my solution isn't to go do the most whatever to make right. that, to solve that problem. I need to do that with integrity. And I need to do that with good character, and I need to do that within the will of God. Right? Let's just say if you want to take the will of God part out of it, at least have some kind of moral compass. And don't just do anything to solve a problem. Now, if you were deficient in your spending, you can't avoid the consequence of that. You can't just hope somebody come in and just fix it because it's a problem. Because I'm pretty sure y'all not going to be uh, homeless because of all of his actions. It might have something to do with your spending. It might have something to do with the lack of not cooking and want to always eat out. It can have many factors. That's why you're not supposed to pit it against each other. That's why you're not supposed to move outside of each other. So whatever happens to one, it happens to both. Not one takes it upon themselves to try to fix something without the other being in, in, in um, unison with them. So I don't know what these people are talking about. This girl is married. For sure she is. She says she is and not. And I believe it, but you going what what kind of husband you got? I don't know. One with low self esteem, or, 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 or she putting on? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know, bro. 
Because these women need to show these men, these strong men that allow them to act like this, and it worked. Mm -hmm. How about you? You know what? I don't like the way you went about it. Perhaps you should have said something beforehand. Um, but thank you. Nah, that's not how my algorithm works. Not at all. <laughs>